Hi, I'm Daniel from Tablet.d and this is a quick benchmark comparison between the LG G2, a brand new LG smartphone, and the Samsung Galaxy S4. So first, let's restart both phones. And so we have a clear memory. Um, let's see how fast both can reboot first. Um, so yeah, on the spec side, we've got a 5.2 inch display on the LG G2 Full HD resolution IPS panel on the Samsung Galaxy S4 which is the 505 version not the LT category 4 version this is the regular Galaxy S4 International um, and also you can see that the G2 rebooted quite quickly definitely faster than the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, we've got a 5-inch Super AMOLED display on the Galaxy S4 and so now you see the memory must be completely blank. We've got no data saving options on. And so now let's start with Quadrant. So let's see. Yeah, thanks a lot. Run full benchmark. So yeah, I was talking about specs and the LG G2 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU with 2.3 GHz quad-core, um, 2 gigs of RAM, which is the same on the Samsung Galaxy S4, also 2 gigs of RAM, but it has a Snapdragon 600 CPU with, I think, 4 times 1.9 GHz. You can also get it with an octa-core version, which is uh, Samsung's very own Exynos CPU. But this is the international with the Snapdragon 600, which is also, um, yeah, more widespread. So you see the G2 is finished. And let's see, we've got 18,770 points, which is a lot more than V1X. Yeah, sure. The CPU is definitely faster and we've got 10,031 point on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So you see the difference is definitely noticeable in the benchmarks which is of course clear. The CPU on the G2 is definitely faster. So um, and to do let's go where is it there you go. So apps also start up on the G2 a bit faster Nothing too noticeable, but you see, okay, we had the tests running here already. Now let's test. Yes, everything. So you see it's the same version of Antutu 4.0.1. Also you can see the display difference. So the G2 is a bit higher and also a bit wider and of course the blacks on the S4 are more deeper whereas the IPS panel still has well I wouldn't call it problems but it doesn't look that good on the black side on the G2 as on the Galaxy S4 but still the display on the G2 is definitely phenomenal and very beautiful. So the LG G2 is finished with 32,329 points. It's definitely a leader. The Galaxy S4 has 27,874 points, which is also very good, and but it's still 5,000 points less. So let's see, where did it win? So we have um, multitasking performances, more or less the same, I'd say. Um, definitely one on this this uh, 3D graphics um, competition, which is yeah, this is actually where it won. So uh, 3D graphics for gaming, the LG G2 is the phone to go um, if you want to play the newest games on the Android um, Play Store. This is the device you should get. But still, the Galaxy S4 with its um, 
Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 CPU still was quite fast and in day yeah daily performance you wouldn't notice that much of a difference of course apps start up a bit faster on vg2 you've got this um, advantage in 3d performance but still both phones are great phones um and why don't you tell me in the comments which phone would you get the lg g2 or the samsung galaxy s4 if you liked the video give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel to see more benchmarks um, of the brand new smartphones and yeah that's it i'm daniel from tablet.de and thanks for watching